Well, I guess as will be the case every day at this trial, we're learning uh, a little more about Douglas Garland, the man accused of three counts of first degree murder in the disappearance of Alvin and Kathy Lickness and their five-year-old grandson in the summer of 2014. Testifying today are some of the people uh, who knew Douglas Garland the best, and they all called him Douglas, by the way. Nobody ever seems to have called him Doug or Dougie. His uh, elderly parents, who are respectively his mom and dad, 86 and 83, um, they were asked questions about, you know, how they all lived together at their acreage uh, near Airdrie, and about the weekend in question, which was June 29th and uh, 30th of, of that summer. You know, these are very uh, alert, especially uh, Mrs. Garland, who is 83, she's uh, super with it and super mobile, and his dad's uh, not doing too badly either for an 86-year-old. But it must be very hard for them, and it's, it's a heartbreak of a different sort. I mean, the primary ache in all of this, of course, is that a little boy, Nathan O'Brien, and his grandparents were slaughtered. But there are these other people, the, the parents, and later the sister today, of Douglas Garland who have no responsibility. Anyway, what we learned about uh, Douglas Garland is that certainly for the last number of years, every Monday he had a psychiatrist's appointment in Calgary, and he appears to have attended all these appointments uh, faithfully. His parents remember it being part of his routine, and he apparently got an undergrad degree at a, a Lutheran University in Alberta, and then was accepted into medical school at the University of Alberta but he suffered, his mom said, some kind of a breakdown there and only attended a few months. Um, and she was asked if she would describe him as a loner and she said, well, he's my son and I love him. And I always have, but I think he's an unhappy person. Kind of tears your heart out in every level. That's it for me.